<laughs> Hi, my name is PJ Montavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. Uh, we are continuing on with short questions. We're on 2013 order level paper, paper, and this is question A4. Okay, so let's read through it. The graphic below shows a water fountain in Sweden. The fountain is in the shape of a parabola. The drawing on the right shows a portion of a parabola inscribed in a rectangle ABCD. V is the vertex of the parabola. Part A, locate the remaining points of the parabola. B, draw the complete parabola. Okay, so we have a parabola inscribed into the rectangle A, B, C, D here. Now, these questions, they do give you a lot of information. They've already started the parabola on the right-hand side here. So when you have a parabola inscribed in a rectangle, you work on the half here, work on half the side here. You divide up the base and the height into an equal number of parts. So if I divide up the base into five parts, I need to divide up the height into five parts. But they've started for you already. See this here? That length there is a certain length that's going to give you equal parts. So what I'm going to do is use the compass to get that distance. Okay, so use the compass to get that length and step it off the same amount of times that you need. Okay, so it seems to have divided up into one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So the base, you have to draw them all straight up. So draw your base measurements all straight up with your T square and C square. Now the height measurement, so this was my, our measurement here. Okay, that's our measurement there. So I'm going to use that now and step it off to get our six segments on this side. Alright, now see what they've done with the height line. The first one, they joined it back to the vertex. So for parabolas, all your heights must join back to the vertex. Now, once that's done, you can start finding points. So it starts at A down here, where your first line meets your first line, that's a point. Second line meets the second, and so on. Okay, and that's your parabola. So you can draw that, join all those points together lightly, and then you can go over it strong. And that is one half of your parabola done. So one half is on the right hand side here. Now, you can go through all that again. You can do all that again, get your heights over here, get your lengths down the base, join in all the points. But the reason this center line is here is because parabolas are symmetrical. The shape on the right would be the same as the shape on the left. So all you need to do is draw your points so we know where they all are. Draw this point straight over to T-square. Put the pin at the center line, lead at the point, and it'll be the exact same distance over on the left hand side. So a bit of axial symmetry going on here. Alright, so do the same with all the points, just transfer them over to the left hand side and you can draw in the parabola again. And thankfully I've already started the parabola for you here, so that's a point here next one so join them all in lightly freehand and then go over it again strong okay so we do the question that's it done I think so we will locate the remaining points of the parabola which we did on the right hand side and then draw the complete parabola which is what we've drawn on the left hand side okay so that's the whole question done that's the parabola remember draw your heights to the vertex and draw your baseline straight up and you'll be able to draw parabolas again Okay, that is a question done. I uh, hope that helped. If it did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more DCG tutorials. Okay, thank you and good luck.